Education is a right, not a privilege. Sadly, it's a right too many can't access. Today, I'm chatting with Patty Talbot, the team lead of Global Partnerships, about life-changing education initiatives that your mission and service gifts support, and why your generosity matters so much. It's really good to have you here. I would love to start with a little bit of an educational moment. Um, can you tell me what the United Church of Canada does around uh, educational initiatives globally? As part of our engagement in global partnership, the United Church is in relationship with about 85 organizations around the world. And that's quite a variety, um, large and small, denominations, networks, associations, civil society organizations. Not all of them are involved in education, but I thought I would talk about a couple, uh, just to give a couple examples. Um, the first is in Zambia. Women for Change. Women for Change in Zambia knew that if children, particularly girls, could stay in school longer, all of society would benefit. So part of what they invited the United Church into was to support a bursary program that was all about providing bursaries to kids who wouldn't otherwise be at school. What happened? It meant that um, through those bursaries, the rate of early dropout went down the rate of early marriages, uh, teen pregnancies, all went down. And it really helped to support Women for Change's goal about encouraging young people, students, particularly girls, mm -hmm. to make a positive contribution to society. In another, another part of the world, Colombia, the, the popular center for communication, is all about working particularly with women, youth, and children in marginal urban communities and rural areas to gain communication skills through programs like um, uh, art, mm -hmm. theater, dance, graphic arts, um, journalism, talking about radio and how to use the, the media to do education and outreach. So CEPALC, which is the, the Spanish acronym for the center, is in a country that's really been uh, riven by a lot of conflict, a lot of human rights abuses, and that is really seeking at a community level to try to, again, make a difference for good. Those are fantastic <laughs> examples. I can just see the way, by the way you, you speak of them and that you light up just how big a change this has made um, for, for the communities there, but also for, for us here to be learning together. We're called into relationship with others to be together in Christian witness. Mm -hmm and to join with others so that all may have life and have it abundantly. Right. Christ said that in, in the giving is the receiving. I'm wondering it, you know, if there's a story that is called to mind that particularly has transformed your own heart. I, I'm a mother and you know, I think maybe others as well are particularly touched by uh, the reality of children uh, when they are in situations of conflict or trauma or suffering in, in, in any way. Um, one of the United Church of Canada's partners in Palestine, in, in Bethlehem, is We Am, the, the Palestinian uh, Conflict Transformation Centers. And one of the programs that We Am runs is a children's program. They do things like after-school programs and they do a summer camp and it's, it's about providing a safe space for children who live in a situation of militarized conflict. The United Church of Canada, the Mission and Service Fund, through supporting WEM, supports its programs with children, with young people, with adults, all about trying to work through conflict and do it in a way that's positive and life-giving. What calls you to this work? For me, and, and I hope for United Church people, being part of, of this family, this, this church, this Christian family, this ecumenical family, participating in, in, in mission and service together uh, gives us opportunities to reach out to each other, um, to, to, to face that sense of, oh, well, there's nothing I can do. Even in the most difficult times and places, um, walking together in partnership, in relationship, leads us through to a new space, a new opportunity, light, life, together.
You know, I think that the tremendous um, warmth and generosity of United Church people as, as, they, as they reach out and, and step into opportunities mm -hmm. is something for which um, partners are immensely grateful. And if you could reach out and, and speak to the donors, what should we know about uh, the educational initiatives globally? Mm. Um, opening up opportunities for more children to go to school longer mm -hmm. is not going to lead to immediate change, but down the road, you know, and, and this isn't decades down the road, but in the medium term is going to support more young people, young adults making a positive contribution. Um, so accompanying or, or being in partnership for change, for transformation, takes time and commitment and a willingness to hang in together. That's really important. And I think United Church of Canada mission and service partners are very grateful that the United Church of Canada has over and over demonstrated that we are there for the long term. Maybe not forever, but for the long term. Because we know that, that the transformation, change that, that, make, that means a, a positive difference in people's lives takes time, effort, courage, vision. When Jesus said, I've come that all may have life and have it abundantly, you know, for me, that's about life. You know, that's about sharing the joys of life. You know, being able to celebrate together, to share food and music and, and opportunities to really celebrate what it means to be human together. And, you know, I've been in places where, um, the Philippines, for example, where there are serious human rights violations and, and communities are under threat, People's, people have, di and have, been, have, have been disappeared, and people will get out a, a guitar and there'll be music and food and an opportunity to really be together in ways that, that m might be extraordinary for those of us outside the situation. I'm moved and left with these tremendous gifts by the work that, that the United Church of Canada and the Mission Service Fund is doing uh, in global partnerships. So thank you very much. Thank you, Alexa. Your gift for mission and service will help engage partners in mutual learning and shared blessings.